Hello and welcome to Data Science Crash Course. This is episode 6, we're getting into classification, into really uh, the meat of data science. We'll be talking about supervised learning. So imagine a situation where you have a couple of labels and you're trying and a data set and you're trying to attach those data to given, to given labels. So for example, you're trying to classify whether a given male is a spam or not or you're trying to say whether that's a cat or a dog on a photo or a bunch of other animals or you're trying to determine uh, what's the income of a given person by comparing the different uh, pieces of information like what's the occupation, where does he or she live, uh, does he have or does he or she uh, smokes cigarettes, different kind of stuff that you're trying to compare and then trying to predict something and give a label. So this is all about supervised learning because you have those labels. So standard techniques for that are basically the first standard technique is KNN, so uh, K nearest neighbors, where you're trying to determine the value of uh, the, the object you're looking at by looking by at the K nearest neighbors, as the name says, which means that, for example, if you're trying to determine the outcome, the, the income of a given uh, person, then actually you're trying to look at uh, the closest uh, neighbors, that might be the people who live close to him, has occupation like him, uh, has the same marital status, different kind of those categories, and you're trying to determine the, his income based on that and based on the knowledge of what's the income of the people you already know the income of. Uh, this is the standard way of actually approaching this kind of problem. And there are many problems like that when you have a couple of labels and you want to uh, give this uh, interval of where the income of a given person lies. So that can, be, that can be like a very precise information where you have to give a precise number and you have to average over a couple of, uh, a couple of different objects. Or it can be genuinely just two labels like that's a spam email, that's not a spam email, uh, and that's it. Uh, so another technique for that is using probability and na uh, naive bias theorem. Uh, you should definitely Google that, how to classify with na uh, naive bias, uh, where you assume everything is in the, in the, uh, independent. Uh, then another standard technique is of course regression, linear regression, that's probably the term you have already heard a couple of times. Uh, it's assuming that uh, the the thing that you're trying to predict, the outcome is actually modeled by some linear function and you're trying to guess the coefficients of that function by looking at uh, the previous examples at your training data set. So yes, this is something really crucial because once you have the data, you need to divide that into training data set and then the data set that you want to test whether the coefficients you guessed are right or wrong. And this is something which goes over and over in everything. You always uh, divide your data set into test data set and training data set. And then uh, you, based on that, you also should have the, the data that you want to predict in the end. Um, and once you train test, you can try to predict at the data set that you want. Uh, this is how you build the model. Uh, so th this is exactly how regression works. You're trying to guess the coefficients based on the previous examples. The linear regression is the simplest, but there are many, many more. Uh, depending on what kind of function you want to model your data on, you can take polynomials, you can take logistic regression, meaning logistic function. Uh, that's also a thing you should Google logistic, uh, logistic function, uh, sigmoid. Uh, the, this is the thing uh, about supervised learning that you're trying to guess what's uh, what's behind those data, guess the function, and actually people are guessing with very simple functions. So the the simplest guess is always like a non normal distribution, sigmoid. Uh, sometimes more involved like uh, hyperbolic tangents, but also things happen to work very often with the simplest possible cases like uh, linear function and ReLU, so rectified linear uh, function. And thanks to that, uh, many data can be interpreted and can be predicted based on those simple models. And then if only that doesn't work, you should go into more advanced models. So the next kind of technique uh, for classifying data is decision trees, 
we're trying to build a tree of questions like uh, whether this word contains free pills, whether this email contains free pills. If yes, then probably it's spam. If this uh, email comes from a strange email address, then if yes, then probably that's a spam. If no, then maybe not. And then you go with a tree like that uh, to determine whether that's, for example, a spam email or not. And you can do that kind of thing also with income, with putting different intervals, like answering question, does this person have a dog or a cat? Does this person live in a house or an apartment? Does this person live in a suburban, a suburban area or not? There are different questions like that that you can try to pose and then answer by your data. This is done automatically. You can build trees automatically and then try to interpret them. Uh, th this is very efficient techniques. Then when, we, when it comes to classification, we go from decision trees to random forest where you have a bunch of trees uh, that you have con constructed maybe by, by different methods and by you trying to uh, do a voting technique to take the input from those different trees uh, and get the data from that. So uh, you might have one tree, one decision tree, which is voting for that this is a spam email, another which is voting that this is not a spam email, and then a third is saying that this is definitely spam. So you take as if you take the exactly the same weights, then it means this is a spam email by two votes to three, um, two votes to one uh, of three in total. Uh, so this is the kind of the technique you might use. Yet a little bit more advanced technique is XG boost. This is also standard technique. It's also about a couple of trees, a tree ensemble uh, that you're trying to interpret. Uh, this is a little bit more involved. I uh, you should definitely check out the XG boost documentation to see what's really going on. But this is really something standard which you should understand uh, in order and know how to use and the best way to know how to use it is basically by coding yeah so the final thing i want to say uh, about classification is definitely neural networks uh, for supervised learning they are perfect often uh, there are different issues with them i will address those issues in a separate video uh, because you can do really many great stuff but also uh, you can just overdo it all and sometimes the easiest uh, solutions work best so definitely you should try with something easier like linear regression first before approaching much more complicated uh, tools with much more complicated tools a given problem uh, but yes there are many many possibilities for doing supervised learning and this is what i wanted to share in this video Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode where we'll be talking about clustering. Similar but not the same thing. Thank you for watching.